Welcome back to Fire to Fork. Today we are going to do something ridiculous. Steak carbonara. Now, before all the Italians get angry, uh, I think the best thing for you to know is uh, all of your comments are very valuable to the algorithm and I really appreciate them. So keep it up. Anyway, let's get to it. So to start with, we are going to do some pasta. So this is a nice fettuccine. Uh, you can use spaghetti, you can, oh sorry, this is a linguine, sorry, which is actually probably the perfect pasta for, um, for carbonara. Uh, I've got a good quality one. This is extruded through bronze, which my friend Ryan, wherever the hell he is, is obsessed with. And I thought, well, let's make him happy because he's having this for dinner. Don't forget to comment the code word somewhere in this episode to win a copy of my cookbook. You're going to see this meal very soon. But in the interim, somewhere in this episode, there's a code word. So comment it down below on YouTube. Now in my cookbook, there is actually one typo if you have one of the first three print runs. We're on the fourth now. And that is the amount of meat that is supposed to go into carbonara. And I've got it set at 500 grams. It should be about 350. If you put 500 grams of proper guanciale, it'll be perfect. If you use what most people will use, which is usually like bacon or um, at best pancetta, uh, it will be a lot of meat and it'll still taste great. So there you go. In this recipe, we're probably going to use about 250 grams of steak. And as usual, it's going to be really, really good quality steak. But 250 grams spread between three people is not that bad. This steak's about probably 75 a kilo. It's a Jack's Creek. Uh, sirloin uh, and it's an 8-9 score no sorry it's a 9 plus score this one uh, which is the highest grade of Wagyu you can get in Australia it means it's going to be incredibly tender incredibly fatty uh, and you don't need lots of it uh, it is very very tasty and as I said we're only going for like 80 grams each of meat it's it's not it's actually not that expensive when you come down to it $15 between three five bucks of meat the whole thing, you could probably feed everyone for under $10 per person for a a meal that tastes like, and it, you know, yeah, it, it really is like, it's quite a, a bougie, fancy meal. So I'm gonna grate up about 200 grams of this pecorino. Should probably be using a finer grater, but you know, sue me. Oh, maybe 150 grams. I'll put the correct amount on the screen. Oh, it's a weird size pasta packet. 375 grams of pasta. So normal pasta packets, 500 grams. So the recipe in the description will be for a 500 gram packet because nobody needs to go through that maths. Now, in here, we chuck, these are huge eggs. So I want a couple of full ones. Some people just do egg yolk. You get all kinds of different variations. Ooh, actually, we've been rather fond of an old fashioned of an evening. So I'm going to hold on to that egg white. The dogs are just <laughs> staring at me like, give me food. That is some good old fashioned egg white. And then one egg yolk. The dogs will probably eat those eggshells because they're good for dogs. A little bit of salt, not too much. Be very careful with the salt. A little bit of pepper. Fork and just whiz him up. So that's the kind of consistency you want. So it's sort of like a paste. Now, get the water. Oh, really should have just used my gloves. <laughs> okay. And yes, new fighter fork gloves are coming soon. By the time this episode comes out, pre-orders will be open and you can order some of these gloves. That's not Fred, by the way. That's Tui. I don't know if you can actually see her in the shot. My friend Macy's dog. Okay. So water boiling, salt, we want to add, what is it, two grams per litre. So I kind of just do it by eye. You want to make it half as salty as seawater. Actually, maybe a third as salty as seawater because it is carbonara. So it's, it's already got a lot of salt in the cheese. And I'm going to put this in on the fire. Okay, so we've got the water boiling and we want to add in our pasta. Do not snap your pasta, please, please. Please don't do it. Just push it in slowly. And don't push it in over like flame because it will burn the ends. Now this one says, I think it was six minutes. 
six to seven minutes in five liters of water. It's not five liters of water, but it can do six to seven minutes. That's all. All under now, lid on, let that boil. And I'm gonna cook the steak now. So as you can see, this steak is just ridiculous. There's so much intermuscular fat. As I said, Jack's Creek, nine plus score, which is the top level of sirloin. A bit of salt, a bit of pepper. You do not need to use Wagyu, you can use whatever you want to, but again, this is kind of like the, the, the tataki, where use the best, fattiest steak you can bring yourself to buy. So this is about a two centimeter thick steak. We're gonna cook that for about three minutes on each side. So it should be about the same time as the pasta. That's been six minutes. Flip this steak, give it a nice little sear on the other side. Drain this. You don't wanna drain all of it ever because that pasta water adds a little, be careful of the ash. <laughs> Pasta water has a lot of flavor. All right, let's go and get this done. Oh, moving cameras and getting steaks. Okay, that guy can chill out for a second. Wow, oh, it smells so good. Let's see what the crust is, oh, it's just perfect. Yeah, I think we're gonna be absolutely bang on with this one. So what we wanna do, so we've got our pasta. Should be cooked perfectly. A little bit of liquid left in there. It's ideal. Pour our cheese and egg mix. And then you want to stir like hell, basically straight away, because otherwise you are going to get scrambled eggs. There is never cream in pasta, sorry, in carbonara. There is also, there shouldn't ever be mushrooms, chicken, all that stuff. I know I'm telling you this as I put bloody steak in it, but apparently the Italians, I've heard, the Italians don't mind the steak version. Mr. Guga did a carbonara with Wagyu. Is it authentic? No. Is it something I want to try? Oh yeah, Wagyu pasta guys, it's really good. Perfect for someone who's like halal or um, kosher or something like that. Or just doesn't like pork. But this, this is a serious, serious meal. That looks and smells incredible. This is going to be my bowl. Quickly, I love having hot water on tap. It's just it's almost like it's not camping. It's just like, it's so luxurious. So that just looks wild. Uh, quickly grab a knife from my absolute mess of a table. Perfect, cleaver. Uh, I'm gonna cut this big fat cap off here. That will go to a good home. Cut a little bit of sinew off. Another little bit off. Just like, you wanna cut any little tough bits off and I will chew them for sure. And then, I want to dice this. Actually, I should do it long ways first. <laughs> the smell. So good. Okay, roughly stir that in and then serve it up. And then, unfortunately, the camera has to eat, which means gratuitous B roll, and then we can eat. Let's make this pretty and make some B roll. Okay, come on, come in, come get some food. We've got Ryan with me, who you might remember from the Morton Island trip I did with Brian 79. And then... <clears throat> 79? Yep, I borrowed a 79 to do Morton. Brian, not Brian. Brian 79 with Ryan. It's all Ryan's, I know. Come on. Um, and you might remember Macy. Uh, I know, based on the messages I got on Instagram, a lot of the dads remember her, and a lot of the mums are angry about her being on there. Um, so yeah, it was a, overall a, a very balanced review. <laughs> Thanks. No worries. <laughs> there you go, Mace. Oh, thank you. Where's your ball? There you go. <laughs> cool. Ooh. Wait, can I eat it now? Yeah, go for it. <laughs> Thank you. Go. Can't say it. Pleasure. Okay, let's get into it. See how it goes. Oh my god. There's a bit of salt. Yeah. That's the end of the salt, so good. Um, 
Smell that. <laughs> mm. That is really good. Yeah. It's creamy, it's matey. Not at all fresh. I wasn't sure how it was going to go, but I'm actually impressed. Mm. How good is the bathe? It is really good. <laughs> Alright, now the age old test. Oh, right, we can do it together for this time. Nice. Doesn't right. go well with beer. <laughs> I had no idea where you were going with beer? it. But... You don't like beer. I don't drink beer. No, yeah, fine. <laughs> cheers. Bloody cheers to that. Ooh, frothy boys. Shit, yeah, it goes well with beer. <laughs> so well with beer. God, yeah. Most, most things do. Most things do, except, yeah, I have a couple that would have gone better with like a whiskey or a sake or something. They're like more Asian dishes. Yes. Yeah. Well, we're going to do some whiskey tomorrow. Yeah. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to comment the code word down below, and we'll see you in the next one. Cheers. Oh, sorry. <laughs> mm.